I've already washed her body. Um, I got her yesterday for $6 in very good condition. What I did was I took her head off of her body and I cleaned the head. I put the body in her original outfit, which came with her, in the washing machine. Yes, I put her in the washing machine without her head. Yes, cotton filling, cotton did get all around the washing machine. I didn't care <laughs> because I had extra bag of stuffing. But I made sure I used fabric softener. So as you can see so far, um, this is what we got. She had lemon yellow hair, green eyes. Um, this is from 1985. I've already rerouted the curls pretty much. This is a double row of curls. So it's much thicker. So I've already got to right here. So as I continue going around the front, this is going to fill in the holes, but also going to give her all of this full bang that's going across the front. Um, I'm filling in the original holes. The best way to remove all of the original hair is, <clears throat> hey, sweetheart, I hope you're feeling better. I hope I can give you a good distraction. Um, and I would pour hot water on her head, and I had a dish rag, a thick dish rag, not a dish rag, but washcloth, thick wash rag. Hold it and keep her head squishy, and I used um, these on the inside of the head to pull all of the original hair plugs out. And I chose this color of Caron yarn. It's silky, it's soft, um, and actually she's a one ponytail. That's why she has a full ball spot. So she had all these little baby hairs around. Um, originally one ponytail. But I'm going to make her into two ponytails. So I'm actually going to create a split that goes down here with hair. It's going to end up being one row where each hair goes, well, piece of yarn goes each way, different way to make a part. And then on the side of that, I'm going to do a complete about two rows um, on each side of that. To make it thicker because I wanted to have nice thick plush hair. I'm not going to make her into a Rapunzel but I am going to make her hair longer than what it originally was. So I don't know why that curl is. Oh it hasn't got thick enough yet. So so these look sparse but once I make them thicker they will be like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that back. See how that looks. So I'm gently pressing there so you can see how that's made. Yes, I do some of everything. Um, most likely around her edges, I'm going to also make it thicker. And I will be taking, putting a little spot of hair here, a little spot of hair here. So once the part's done, it can put the ponytail set up in place. So right now, I'm going to continue finishing the front part of the frame of her face. Hi Richard, I hope your mom are well. Hi, Busy Bee. So, I'm going to push my camera down further. Alright, so you can see as I'm pulling hair from the skin. And I'm not making it that long, actually. I'm trying to make it no longer than I have to. I am making it a little bit longer than what it's supposed to be. So, that way I know that I have more than enough. So, this is what I do. I leave a loop like this. Hold it together. This is my tool that I made. I think I found this at Walmart a couple years ago. Um, I found this Cabbage Patch Kid yesterday in a thrift store for $6 in her original clothes. And I was like, yes, yes, something to do, something to do. So I was very happy to get her. Um, there is a few very small little holes in her body but it's gonna be simple for me to do I can do an invisible stitch there so so I'm working on these row these second row of the bangs it's gonna make them nice and fluffy but also it's going to make the part that comes across the top so as I'm going along you will see how it's creating the nice part and it's pretty yeah, uh, she was in the front of the thrift store with these um, porcelain dolls, a group of porcelain dolls. Um, nothing that I saw valuable. But then, I mean, to me, porcelain dolls just aren't valuable. So that's just me because I don't collect or play with those. Um, I don't do porcelain. 
Even though I had a porcelain cabbage patch kit, but I, I didn't keep her. I just don't like glass dolls. That's just me. So I'm filling in all of her original holes. Pull that bang back up. There. So it's going to make her hair thicker. So this is what I chose. One, this is pretty much all you should need to do a small Coleco cabbage patch kit from 1985. You only need one of these pretty much. Um, I just went silky and I got a very almost white color. It's not white. It's a cream. Uh, let me double check these holes. Okay, so that one is part of a bang. This, yeah, this is really big, much bigger than needed, but I didn't have a tool to cut that down to make it smaller. There we go. Sometimes it will snatch up a piece of yarn beside it. Uh, I have to turn it facing me because I have to go back. I'm going to actually pull this out. So if you make a mistake, you pull the hair plug out. So for me, I need to make this here where to be smaller loop. So I can keep it consistent. I think I did a picture of her on Instagram. Don't quote me as 100%. Anyway. A shank. I don't know what that is, but okay. A shank. I think I've heard somebody talk about that before. I don't know. Okay. So there are double rows, and the thing is with these double rows that she has right here, the ones, the little short ones here, this one up in the front is going to be a bang, and it's going to have long hair with it. So yeah, that way she can have nice, beautiful, thick, luscious hair. Again, this is an original one ponytail. I don't know why these Cabbage Patch Kids from back then had really thin hair. I mean, it's yarn. It's very inexpensive. So I don't know why they, and to be honest, Cabbage Patch Kids back in 1985, I see, I have some in the box that I bought off eBay. were more like 50 bucks, 45 to 50 bucks or 39.99. For 1985, that was pretty expensive. Um, They should have had thicker yarn hair. But that's why I'm doing this video. So maybe you can learn how to root like this. I'm going to use a hot glue gun to glue the hair inside the head. I do not recommend Eileen's glue. Okay. I know some people do that. I don't recommend that. Because for whatever reason, moisture or heat. If the Cabbage Patch Kid somehow gets wet, guess what? Eileen's glue is going to be refreshed and it's going to get wet. And it's going to get refreshed. It will become um, wet again. It won't be solid anymore. So I use a glue gun. Period. Now as I start coming across here. It will be easier for you to notice. Um, so I like the hair. Like I said. I like when my dolls have beautiful thick hair. And I'm double checking through here. Because that's exactly what I'm working on. But yeah, don't use Eileen's. Just invest in a very good glue gun. Um, get the big one. Also, with the glue for the glue sticks, get the um, store brand for Walmart. Those are really good because once you heat them up and melt them, they are not going to melt again. They're not going to seep through. It's not going to be turned sticky and start going through your doll's head. That also includes if you read a Barbie doll. 
or any other doll. You're not going to have problems with the glue getting hot and coming through the doll's head again. See? I start with the front part and then I just pull it to the side to make these extra row of bangs. But also I'm adding the length to cover up ball, ball spot. I did, didn't know what color I wanted to do her hair. But yes, looking at the bangs, she's coming out really cute. She's looking so pretty, poo. I love it. I love Cabbage Patch Kids. And, yeah, she's going to look gorgeous. Look how pretty her face turned out. Very clean. Her body is on top of a heat vent drying. Um, so is her original outfit. So the good thing, but I want to make her a cute chubby chic style dress. So it's possible. Now, right now, I need a little, I need the money to do that. Because I did not buy her. This, this cabbage patch she was bought for me. Like I said, at a thrift shop for sale, only six bucks. And, yeah. Um, I'll show you the condition of her body. Don't worry, that'll come up later because I'm going to finish her tonight. If you can believe that. You can take it to the bank. There. So, I'm making sure all of the loops match, blend to be about the same. And I'm making sure I fill in both rows as I go. The first row is going to be with the bang. Then the second one is just lo loose hair. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm doing the hair. I'm cutting it like probably about 18 inches. The piece of yarn is 18 inches long, most likely. Um, the reason why I'm doing it that long is because you got to push some into her head so that you can use a hot glue gun to glue it. Secondly, you want to make sure you are able to style her hair the way you want it. So whether it's a one ponytail or you're going to be doing two ponytails, you want to be sure that you have a good amount of yarn hair to work with. So I'm using the Karen because it's got a silky sheen. Um, the yarn they originally have is acrylic, which you can buy that as well. Um, I recommend uh, Joanne Joanne's Fabrics or um, Hobby Lobby. Walmart, uh, sometimes they don't have good thread. And, I mean, yarn, sometimes they don't. It's a hit and miss type thing. Depends on how greedy people are. Because they be having some greedy heifers in there. Because people are starting to do crocheted dolls. And I also noticed today in Joanne's Fabrics, they have come out with a line of yarn that comes in skin colors to actually keep, to, to keep that entertained so that people can do those crochet dolls in different skin colors. So I did see that yarn today, but I'm sorry, I'm not crocheting a doll. It's not going to happen. They will get, it will the yarn a ball up, get little balls on it, stuff like that. I'm nope, nope, nope. No, thank you. Cabbage Patch Kids are the closest I get to those. Yep, that's it. This is the closest I get to a rag doll. I have soft sculpture Cabbage Patch Kids, like those really expensive ones. Which I do have videos here on eBay on how to clean. I mean eBay. Oh my god. I don't sell on eBay. Yeah, I do sometimes. But not eBay. But um, I have South Sculpture Cabbage Patch Kits here on YouTube. That I have shown how to spa them. Which means clean them up. Give them a bath. Repaint on their eyes and things like that. To make them pretty again. But, as you can see, this is getting thick pretty quickly around to the top, front, up around here. Yeah. That's what I like, because I want her hair to be nice and thick. But I also want her to look original. See that? I want her to still remain to have that sort of 80s character, but updated, so to speak. You know what I mean? See, the hair is not too long. I mean, it's longer than her body, but like I said, 
I'm going to, once I pull it up into ponytails, then I will cut it some to get it in style. I got my camera as low as it can possibly go to show you how to do this. So you can do this, try it also. This is a lot easier than repainting a doll. <laughs> so I figured you could do this a lot better with less problems. And you'll have to get a really big needle and you will have to, I use these, that part right in here to cut the tip off of this big sewing needle. So that's actually your rooting tool. And then, I mean, you have to make it basically. I do have that wooden thing, but I couldn't get this needle out of it. Here we go, that's in our head. And pull the hair over, good layering look, perfect. And then some of these places are gonna look thin. I try and come in and fill them in. Look like that. And it went straight through. <laughs> I probably should have added a short bang to that to make it thicker. See, I'm doing like this, folding it. Um, I think this is also on Google. I know a lot of people do this and they do all of these wild crazy colors of yarn um, with Cabbage Patch Kids like these the original Calicos but to me I think the I like to make her look original like the ones that made people crazy and they would fight over them I like that original look because I like the idea that I can look at her and be like people used to have fights over that thing people would go crazy over ones that look like that the difference is I'm making mine's hair more silkier, but I'm staying true to her original look as close as possible. Especially with the bang that went all the way around, keeping it as original as possible. So it's kind of like a, more like a restoration. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing more like a restoration. Um, there are some dolls that I like them the way they are and don't want to change them too much. Usually, a Cabbage Patch Kid is one of them. I like their original hairstyles and stuff, but sometimes they don't have thick enough hair or the yarn they originally come with is really thin and you can see too much of the ball spot. It looks a bit tacky. Wait, is that going to look like that? No. I pull it out. And it didn't harm it, so... It just was too much long of a bang sticking out. There. That's better. And to make these um, holes shrink after you've done your doll, you can actually just put hot water um, into your doll's head. It's going to get her hair. It's going to get her hair wet, but it can set it a lot better. Hot water, but it'll don't worry. It'll dry regardless. So. So it's pretty quickly. See, I'm already coming down to the end. They painted her ear. So you're going in front of this one's ear. 
That's how you know she's not over to one plus. It was on her booty. The tattoo thing. Which I think people are having an issue about that lately. I've been seeing something online about that. But I think people are just getting a little out of the insane in the membrane lately. Where everything is offending them. But yet they don't mind offending other people. Regardless, I mean, hey, this is something to do, something to keep you busy, occupied. Yeah. It's strange. Less seems like less holes. The other seems like the other side is going to be thicker, but so I have to add a few holes to make sure I get the same amount of thickness. Because the other side, it was definitely thicker. Came out perfect. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the bang part first and then go back through and add extra hair where I need it. Well, yarn. Yarn is her hair. Perfect. So as you see the second row that's coming in, that looks so much better. Yay! She looks so pretty. Her dress was pink and white. But I think I want to find something very shabby chic style and um, make her a cute little dress and put like very thin ruffles at the very end. Have like maybe fabric ruffles but also have some lace as well to give her that shabby chic old school i'm sorry i got to stretch my leg out oh my god oh my god it's not breathing there's no circulation to my legs i have to move on my needle ah, ah, ah. sorry that hurts my leg is numb okay my goodness oh i can feel the blood rushing back That's, that's exactly what it is, a dead one. Because I'm not sitting on a bed. I'm actually on the floor on a blanket. And if it goes in just a little too far, that's a good thing because you can pull it out to blend where it should be. So that's a good thing. The best way to do it is do the edges first. But also to make sure you don't get it wrong, take pictures of your cabbage patch before you start doing this so that way when you start rooting her you will know what kind of hairstyle she has unless you decide to change it and alter it make it different 
No, no, no. What did I miss? I had to use the mess. Jar, you didn't miss nothing. But except for my foot going numb. You could be up all night. You had that coffee. Oh, shoot. I pushed the whole hell, the whole thing in her head. That's okay. I'll just go back and get a double piece of yarn and stick it in the same hole to make sure I have a loop. Okay, maybe not. We'll just stick it in the next hole. There. Oh my god. Never mind. It's coming out. What in the world? You know, that's okay. Throw it to the side. I'm still going to do this with one, one ball of yarn. And believe me, it's not a big one. It's getting hollow on the inside. But again, the doll is not going to have a full head of yarn. She's still going to have some ball spots, but she's going to have a lot more than what she was given. Okay, that worked. That did not go all the way in or through inside the head. Which would have been great if that's what I wanted. I'm trying to keep the length consistent. You sound like me. But I'm actually going to make myself go to bed tonight. Hopefully around 12. Maybe 1. I have to go to the hospital for a doctor's appointment in the morning. So. But you always want to, I always do the loop part first with bangs. Always. Some people don't do bangs on their Cabbage Patch Kids. That's fine, but this is the only doll that I actually think looks cute with bangs. I don't like Barbies with bangs. There. And yes, I'm going to take it all the way down to right there. To right here, where the bottom part of the ear is. One thing about yarn, it doesn't take a lot to fill up her hand. One did great. The original, the acrylic yarn you can buy, it's a very thicker consistency. So it's like you get more for less. But I wanted her to have a silky yarn here. I wanted it to be silky. And they had a beautiful orangey red color. Oh, I almost got that one. Because her eyes are green. But I have a... an I like the 1985 Cabbage Patch Kids. Because most of them have like these big eyes. And they look really cute. This particular one. Her body's 1985. But she doesn't have those big eyes. So I thought that was quite shocking. But nevertheless. She's still just as pretty. And her skin color is gorgeous. Make sure I'm doing this right. The same length almost. Yeah. That's fine. That's more than enough length. See? But I am doing, going to add, I'm going to create a line all the way across down here. We're doing two ponytails. Two ponytails are always cute. On a doll. On people, not really. Unless they're little girls. And they got little baby hairs you can do. And it looks so cute. Or like little baby, or like little dolls. Or like little kids. You know what I mean? Like little baby dolls. Like, American Girl dolls and other dolls like that look cute with ponytails. Just saying. Just giving ideas. Ponytails are cute. Can never go wrong. Oh, well, you did your hair and pigtails and you actually rocked it. I mean, like, on the reel, I saw your hair and two pigtails and... It went with your look. Oh, 
Darn, that messed up. So it worked. You had you had you had this Harley Quinn look. So, I mean, like I said, you rocked it. Well, I'm honest. My mom told me, she said, <gasps> I'll never forget that. She said, you know, you tell people you honest. Well, you're not. You're really just a, and she called me the B word. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Parents. What are you going to do, right? Okay. And sometimes some of the other loops will end up going into the hole. Yeah, you pull them on out so you can fix it. Hand to your business. Okay, let me see. All right, the double loops go all the way to right there. Her double loops. That looks about right. Maybe two more. And her bangs will be done. See? For her one little toothy. And after the loops, the loops take the most time. That's why I say do your loops first. Because once your loops are done, then everything else is going to be so much easier. I don't know why they're not making these. Because I just kick, I just got through doing on Google, are Cabbage Patch Kids still popular? And is it yes, they're still relevant. So I'm like, okay, why aren't they in the store? Why are they not making them 16 inches tall anymore? There's a stinky troll. What is that? Types of dwarves. I don't know. Oh, is that? I think that means I guess totally adorable. Sorry, I thought it was saying something else. I was about to delete it. Okay. I got her body on the heat vent so it can dry. I'm glad you caught that girl. Oh, and this is uneven. There we go. Perfect. Now, that's enough of the doubles. Yep, that's enough of the double loops. So, all of the hair in the front, her bangs are done. Double checking. I got all the thickness I need. Perfect. Probably more so than what I think she had, for sure. Hi, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. You're so fun. Oh, so she looks cute. So, now let's handle all this. So, I'm going to continue going around, but I'm not doing double um, holes around this this here area. They just, originally, she just had this one row of loopies. That's it, just one row of loopies. Um, so, that's all she's going to keep. And now I'm going to take the rest and go around and give her arm um, hair. I got her body drawing, but I also bought, well, I had gotten stuffing to go with it as well. 
in case you, well, I didn't get it, I already had it. It was going to be used in a pellet. But I said, uh, okay, I think I might hold on to that for something else. Now, there are two rows of um, the loose hair like this. It's one row of loops and two rows of the, um, this hair hair, so she don't look bald headed. And I'm trying not to get carried away with all the hair length. Because I don't want to make it longer than her body. Even though it's going to be longer than what it normally would be. Still, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. No, I think um, create, being creative is what's kept me going. Um, that's what never kept me from doing things that were illegal or getting into trouble. I got, I kept myself busy doing things like this. Pretty much, yeah. Oof. Push that all the way through. I don't know. She might end up with one ponytail the way this is going. But then I always think I'm not going to have enough yarn. And I always do. I always end up having enough yarn. You feel like you're not, but you do. Oops, I pushed some of her curls in. Pull them back out. There we go. How, oh, how did you jump to the store by Paris? Mm. One thing very important, try to keep it from the length, from your fingertips to your elbow. That's more than enough in length. And it's um, more than enough to keep you going. Um, so that your doll's hair will be long enough. Your cabbage dress kid's hair can be long enough. And you won't be putting too much. So from fingertip to the elbow, that's enough. Thing is, once I'm done with going all the way around the edges, I can start working creating this. The center part to make ponytails. Okay, let me make sure this is even. Okay, close enough. See? Like I said, um, from your finger to your elbow, it's more than enough. It's basically 12 inches, so that's more than enough to give her a beautiful long length. And then once you style it a certain way into a certain ponytail, and then you cut it to make it more even-like, it gives you more than enough yarn. So. Go 
ahead and do a few original plugs before I add in some new ones. Well, I say from the tip of your finger to the elbow because it prevents you from wasting yarn, adding too much, not knowing how, any of those things, you know. So fingertips to the elbow was perfect. That's more than enough in length. So if you're doing her hair and you mess up, you got more than enough to um, cut. You're fine, Richard. It's understandable. Hopefully, Mom is doing good. And enjoying herself. You know, I was talking to um, Raphael the other night, and it is crazy how much older Cabbage Patch kids are selling for on eBay. I was blowing my mind. Three and four hundred dollars. He was sending me screenshots. People are buying the older ones like right up. There's a one with the ugly face, with the mouth open, with some teeth and some teeth missing. That one is selling for hundreds of dollars. No, I do not have one. If I did, trust me, it would be listed. But I don't have one because I ain't buying no ugly one and that one's really ugly. I wonder why they want the ugly ones. So that was me adding a few extra holes here, see? So um, this is the ear area. The face, so I'm passing the ear area. And I'm already almost to the center of the back. So that's all I have left, the very back. And as you can see, it looks plenty of thickness to cover the baldness. Because her original hair, it did not cover her bald head at all. I mean, I don't know why they took them and made the hair. I mean, it was yarn. It was very inexpensive. They were charging a lot for them. I don't understand why they could not have given them more thicker yarn hair. They didn't get thick until they started coming out with what they call corn silk kits. Bring your face of popcorn. There you go, girl. That's a good food. And it's inexpensive. And the reason why you want to go with from the fingertips to the elbow is also because the hair that goes in the back, when you start pulling it up to the top, to the damn ponytails, you wanted to make sure it's got the length.
Um, I really like the fact that her body, the coloring is amazing. It's a nice tan color, so it's not faded. No busted strings or anything like that from her toes or her knees, ankles, none of that. I just saw some very small little slight holes that could have been, I don't know, worn through time or whatever. But I'm going to fix those with some needle and thread. But like I said, they're very small, so I have to be careful so I can make them look invisible. When you have too much time on your hands or extra time on your hands, this is what you do. Make use of it. Learn how to do something. Get creative. Learn how to paint. Learn how to sew. Learn how to crochet. Learn how to do doll restorations. This way you, will, you won't ever get bored. You'll always have something to do. So if you get bored playing with dolls or something, you can repair them. People pay money to get their childhood dolls repaired to look good again. Like doing this, if you do a restoration on a cabbage patch kit, I mean for new hair alone, depending on the colors or whatever, if they want more than one color, the length, the hairstyle, um, and then depending on how much damage is done to the body, oh my god, you're looking at possibly having to and dye to the body to refresh the coloring. So many things. So people do pay money to restore their dolls. Their childhood sweethearts. I mean, I think it's worth the investment so you can continue enjoying them. Or sometimes you have a cabbage patch and she's been so thoroughly loved that there's no help for her then i suggest going on ebay oh etsy etsy people because ebay is really doing issues with people so a lot of people are selling on etsy so you can definitely find barbie and cabbage patch kids and all other kinds of dolls on etsy Also, can hurt, go to flea markets and stuff like that. Thrift shops, antique stores. You will definitely find older Cabbage Patch Kids and Barbies in those. So, see? Very important to keep pressing the curls down because you want them to stay down. not the best angle for you to look at. Sorry. When you see me pull the yarn, a piece of the yarn hair out, it's because it went in, too much went in. So I'll slightly pull it out.
for me when I'm going to get a Cabbage Patch kit. If I'm at a second hand store or eBay or where I can get one, I try to get an 80s one because that's a piece of history where people would get into fights over them. I mean, when I see the videos on eBay, I'm just like, what? Is that real? Oh my God, were people really that crazy? Um, and then I hear people who talk about how they remembered um, with some stores you had to pre-order them and it would take a year for the order to be filled, but you actually had to wait one to two years before your Cabbage Patch Kids came in. I thought to myself, that is crazy. That's why they called it the Cabbage Patch Kid craze, I guess. And I don't understand how the company Coleco went out of business, even though now it's back in business, but I don't know what they make. I know that they need to start making some more of these. I don't like the short ones. They need to do the 16 inch ones again. Now they're 14 inches. The body is just the body. They made the body two inches smaller and it looks weird. I keep thinking about how I felt like I was forced to end up here. My mom even recommended it as being best for my safety. And I just find it just weird. I have moments I feel uncomfortable. So that's how I said, I was like, I need a cabbage patch. I need to feel, I need to feel some comfort. Cabbage patch kids are comforting. They're soft. And CabbagePatchKids.com, oh my god, they have sold out of so much stuff, it's not even funny. But then it could be like that for inventory. You just never know. Well, unfortunately, one thing I can say, me and one of my moderators know how it feels not to have that feeling of being grounded, rooted, and like a safety net underneath us. So, we definitely can agree with that feeling. It's not a good feeling at all. I had that a long time ago. That's all we got left to go right there. And if I have enough, I'm going to double check. I'm looking at the yarn because it's getting skinny. But I think it's possible for me to finish this and have enough to make her an entire line, root line, to give her, um, to make it into two ponytails. She's originally a one ponytail, but I would like to make her into a two ponytail instead. And 
I wouldn't mind making her um, a dress, but I don't have the fabric. And when I see my mom, I got quite a few weeks to go before I see her. I like the color. It's a pretty, it's like a buttercream. Yeah. Her hair, I can, originally it was like a lemon yellow, but it was very faded. It had faded a lot from the years, I mean. But her body did it. The only thing that faded was the yarn hair. I mean, considering the hair, what I've done already, it's, I think it's double the hair she had originally anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. This is my first time rerouting one of my Cabbage Patch Kids with this hair. Oh, that's definitely thicker. Much better. We are so doing this. I can't wait to start the, the row to make the two pigtails. And you know, I remember seeing on YouTube that woman cutting the ponytails on the couch. I was like, oh my God, you cut too much, girl. I've seen them. I've seen the videos where they rooted and they got the Cabbage Patch Kids head setting up and they're doing the ponytails and they cut the, um, they're cutting too much off. I think they made their ponytails too short. I mean, as much as they were selling them for, hello, why not leave it long? Give it that all that length. But no, this is a... What color is this? This is called Off-White. Here it says Off-White. But to me, it looks like a buttercream. It's like a pretty buttercream. Oh, Barbie Extra number three is on Amazon.com for $19.99. 
Just letting you know in case you didn't get one or in case you need another. Yep. Because from the looks of it, they, they did, are not doing better. I mean, people wanted more, but we wanted more of the glamour and the pretty fashion. And for the price they're charging, they should have an extra outfit, at least a cute outfit. They make some ugly clothes for Barbie nowadays. I swear. Oh, gosh. It's like, God, way that. She should have went in her closet and pulled out something from vintage days. Because it would look a lot better than what she's wearing today. Today, it's like... Mmm. She didn't even go to a thrift shop. She just, I don't know, cut cut up somebody's sheets and made a dress. I saw one today with a dog where puppies could come out of the pup the out of the dog's belly from the bottom and I saw another dog with a Barbie with dress. Ugh, just ugly. And the Barbie extra with the lime green hair, she's got flat feet. And specks on her face, the little specks. She looked like she came from the movie Avatar. I was like, oh my goodness. And she has a bad hair. I was like, eh, nope. And I got the girl with the braids. Um, I got the flower power girl. It looks like her neck is small with that ugly outfit. I like the shorts, but not the top. And then it came out with them little Barbie extra minis. Seriously? Why? Then those little things should have been about nine inches tall. They're way too small, and their joints are too loose. Should have definitely made them bigger than that. In fact, they shouldn't have made them at all. They should have focused on better um, Barbie extras. With gorgeous, long, thick hair. I mean, hello. All they got to do was look online and dress down like Forever 21 fashions. God, it look, some of it looks homemade. Some of it looks like it came from a thrift shop. Some of it looks like it came from a potato sack or a flower sack. From, like I've seen in the movie, um, Kit Kittredge from American Girl, where they took um, flower sacks and made dresses because they were made of a fabric with flowers. Yep, that's what Barbie's dress looks like. Looks like something that was homemade because she couldn't afford to go get, get, get a dress. Ugly, boring dresses. Okay, let me see what is going on there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. So, originally she had one ponytail, she was like this. Mm, I gotta do something, some of this has to be thicker. Doesn't look right. This side is definitely thicker than this side. Cause I can see part of her, oh no it gets covered up. Yeah, this side needs to be thicker. I'm doing thickness before I even try to make it into two ponytails. I wanted that baby yarn because it was really 
that's pretty stuff, but they didn't have any. Nobody had any. I think everybody's popping out babies. I just don't even want to think about that. It's depressing. Okay, got a few more. And for me to do the middle part down the bottom will not take it won't take a huge amount of yarn for me to do it. Uh, there, I'm having to thicken all this up. Almost done with the extras. I've seen older Cabbage Patch Kids right, and their vinyl, where the hair was, was busted open. Some of them had busted open heads. I think it was where they recycled um, some of the defected Cabbage Patch heads, and they recycled them. Oof, that's a lot of hair. So I have two plugs to fill in right there. I think some of the prettiest ones were from Jack Specific. Those 25th anniversary Cabbage Patch Kids were freaking amazing. I seen them online. Okay, there we go. We've got all of that thickened up. Now I can focus on, oh my gosh, making her a ponytail to do two ponytails. Yay, I can do it, nose line. So you can see her head was painted yellow. Okay. Thick uh, side from the nose, mouth, and da -da -da -da. There. Now I need a pencil or something. So the hair is thick enough, definitely thick. I just gotta make a pencil line and here's what I have left in yarn, see? So that is enough for me to do that. And that's what I'm doing because I want two pigtails. Okay, I have to get up. Oh my god, my legs are numb. Oh, 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 oh my god, I can move. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, I'm gonna grab a pencil.
brought her clothes so you can see her original clothes like and you can see those okay these are her original clothes i brought the pencil because that's how i used to mark so look how good condition they were they were like in like almost new condition there's a cabbage patch kid little tag they smell amazing they're nice and clean but yes this is her original outfit very cute looks almost brand new So these are her panties. Very nice looking and new. This is um pink and white strut, little checkers. This was a ribbon in her hair. She had one ponytail. I know that bow is not original. Everybody loves these Cheetos. They can't keep them in stock. Okay, so I've drawn a line. And I'm going to start at the top of her head and go down. So what I'm doing, I'm going to switch the yarn. I'm going to have it, I'm going to start making a part where it's going to go, each piece will go to its side. Y'all can hear me crunch, crunch, crunch. So you see the pencil line where I went straight across. Let me double check here. Uh, yeah, that's working out great. Now you're going to have it spaced just a little bit. I'll show you why. What? I never went to Kroger's. <laughs> Thank you. 
I went one time. And I went off on someone. I went purposely to find some person. Who was. Definitely bothering me. On a personal level. And I showed up on her job. And I turned it out. I know that sounds bad. And I'm not sorry. But don't come for me. And then I know where. And then I can find out where you at. I'm going to come. I will come for you in person. If you're close enough. But you're not worth me traveling for. <laughs> So what I can end up doing is setting our head on top of the vent to make the yarn set, you know, set in this style. Um, I used to like the cheese paws. And I don't know, they've done something different, I think. To me, it tastes like something differently. I remember I was here the last one I rebooted. I bought a lemon haired 1985 Cabbage Patch Kid off eBay. She was she was wearing a white knitted sweater and little booties. And she had two pigtails. And I remember I took her out the box and I went and I bought that baby yarn. They had a little shimmer to it or something. And I rebooted her in that yarn. Oh my god, she's one of my favorites. But I have a red head in the box, never opened from 1985. I'm thinking I'm going to open her and reboot her, but with the same color yarn that she has. She's got green eyes and red hair. So I'll end up rebooting her. But I'm going to have to go to storage and find those. I hope I'm not pushing her face into the floor.
Oh my goodness. Almost there. I use a pencil, because a pencil is not going to cause any permanent damage. Making the line on her, on the doll's final bald part. But this is how you take a one ponytail cabbage patch kid, and you make her into a two ponytail cabbage patch kid. So, now that basis of the line has been set up, ta-da, look. I'm going to now start filling it in around those areas. Oh my god, she's going to be freaking so adorable. And I'm going to start from the back. Because now I'm going to make the rooting line a lot tighter. And then I'll make it thicker once this part's done. Oops, I did something wrong. And that goes over there. And this one goes over there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, that's it. Now again, like I said, do not use Eileen's glue. Do not use craft glue. I don't care what doll you're using, you do not use craft glue to glue inside her head. <laughs> Period. Because moisture, water, anything like that will refresh it and make it wet all over again. I use a hot glue gun, because that glue, once it's done, it's done. So, see how that's coming in? Then, after this, I'm going to have to take, have this part come over and fill another whole row as close to this as possible for thickness. Alright, I'm not going to put this one in between here. Can I do it? Oops, I did it. I will try to do it without trying to make a... I don't want to split the head. But then again, I mean, you know, she is from 1985, so I don't know how many old that makes her. But I want to be careful I don't bust the head open. God, please don't let that happen. I would totally freak out. I would, oh God, I'd just freak. I'd cry and everything. After all of this work, oh gosh, yeah. There, there. 
Because once I start pulling this up into a ponytail, it's going to go thicker anyhow. It's going to be thick ponytails. Those clean your slab on there. You only see what your eyes want to see. How can I be what you want me to be? You fool me. Cabbage Patch Kids are iconic and legendary. They really are. I mean, like, Barbies are still around. Well, Transformers and G.I. Joe have come back big. I think there's already another movie lined up. Or G.I. Joe. Don't quote me for misinformation. You better Google that. I want to see the new Batman. Batman! That's right, I think that um the Twilight dude is playing Batman this time. If I'm not mistaken. I was like, oh god. Robert Patterson, he's gonna make a weird Batman. I'm sorry. He will forever be a vampire to me. Okay, so. There's her part. Ta-da! Now, we're going to make this thicker up in here because I don't want it looking thin. This girl got to have some good, juicy, beautiful hair locks. Ooh, it's so pretty, 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 pretty. La, 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 la. I got the pee. I don't want to get up. Can somebody go for me? Oh, this would look good with that white if it was white sparkles.
Her body is on top of the heater drying. It's safe. And it's on my tray. There. See, I'm making like a whole nother, almost like a whole nother line. Up here. Because I want it to have a nice thick part. Ooh, that was real close. That's too close. Space it out because this yarn is getting scarce. So see, it almost looks like a whole nother row, but it's not. It's behind where the parts could be. That way it'll look nice and thick. Look, Paris ain't asleep. I'm in shock. <clears throat> I need water. I'm sorry I'm not setting up higher in the air somewhere where I'm um, like normally, but I was just having a floor moment. And so you're seeing me add a whole new couple rows on this Cabbage Patch Kid's head. All for the love of beautiful, luxurious hair. Because I don't want a bald headed doll. That's why I sneak peeks at certain dolls in their packages. Because I'm looking for thickness. Oh, one more thing. The Barbie Princess Adventure doll. I think she's on sale for $14 and something. On Target.com. Or either, I think it's Target.com. Or, yeah, that's where I think it's at. Target.com. The Princess Adventure doll. Because the next Barbie movie is going to be a mermaid movie. So they already got those prices. So if you like that one, she's really, really pretty. The Barbie um, Adventure Dog. She's gone from 20 to 15. keep looking at the yarn and then I'm looking at what I'm doing and I'm thinking am I going to make it? Am I going to have enough to do the other side? To do the other <laughs> to add that extra row to make sure her arm part has nice thickness because I'm looking at this thing look at it y'all. It's flimsy it's flimsy Freaking out. I'm looking how thin that thing is getting. And I did not want to be counting up quarters. I'm trying to get another thing of this yarn just for this. I think the way that the hair is made around the hairline up in this area is going to be more than enough thickness. I 
that ready to be done and flip it over and create the next row. Yep, because that is really thick. Okay, there, done with that. So all of this hair is twisted. That goes over here now. Oh my gosh, okay, fix that up right. Okay, there we go, pull it over. So this side is done, so see? That's what I did. You do the row, it'll be kind of thin, but once you add that extra row right underneath it, it gives you that thickness you need. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Okay, on this side now, let me finish up the other side. Let me turn Flossy Flossy around. Wee, see? See, you can see how pretty she is and all her pretty bangs. Okay. Now. Oh God, I forgot I did my leg like this again. Uh, okay, so we got plenty of length, more than enough. Okay, so now I'm going to take this row that I had added. I'm going to pull all of this all the way down to here. Yep, so now we're going to have to put in that second row right underneath. This here where I made her part. I had to twist it to keep it from getting mixed up with the other hair. Where's the front of her face? I'd rather do it up here at the top instead. What Dixie? What? What do you want to talk about? Uh -huh. This is all I have to work with. Do you think we can do it? That's it. We're about to find out. I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I think it'll be enough. We're about to find out in a few minutes. Cause it's getting thin with every length every piece I cut. But like I said, anytime I said I always needed one ball of yarn, but this is a thinner ball of yarn. Normally I get the um, cheaper kind. Because it's usually, that's kind of pretty much what they use on Cabbage Patch Kits way back in the day. And it only takes one ball of yarn. That carrots yarn. Yeah, I think it's called carrot. That yarn always, just one ball is enough to do one Calico Cabbage Patch Kit. But because I bought this here, the soft kind soft silky kind guess what it's gonna be enough i'm good i'm looking at it i can already see the way it's going i'm going to be just fine but i gotta add some right here a few little pieces right there and on the other side to give our high ponytails but i think we're gonna do it i think we can do it
I'm getting ready to show you what's left of the yarn I'm working with. Okay, let me pull this out. Okay, this is what I have left. This is it. And I'm here, but I got here to go. So that's one, two, three, four, five plugs. Then we're going to do about four up in here, maybe five on both sides. Whether or not I'm going to have enough for that, I do not know. But as long as I can get the sides on like this, I don't care. Because I know that her hair will be thick. Um, it'll be a thick part, so it'll be good to go. Girl, what are you talking about an engine? You'd be having me laughing. I'd be like, what? What? And I think if I want to do her ponytails, oh my god, I'm going to need yarn to, I'm done, I did it, and we got this much left to go, which means, yes, I'm going to have enough to do the spots up there, but first, I have to find her face. All right, sister, if your face is right here, oh, Lord, let me turn you around, I'm going to have to figure out to do a high ponytail. Pencil, which means, oh my god, right here. Yep, I think, no, yep, uh, yep, that'll work. Okay, so I did it the hole, the judo hole right there. I did a little hole with a circle. So there's her face, beautiful hair, isn't she cute? Lots of gorgeous hair. Oh my god, I don't even know how much charging I got on my phone. I'm starting with this part right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, then one over there. Check your Walmarts for the, um, um, well, but this video will be up here for years, so really don't need to talk about it, but Rainbow High, the Winter Skylar, what was left of the winter ones, they're on clearance, $15. That's one, two, three, four, yep, one more is five. Oh, thank God, I do have enough. It is working. I was right. Yay. Ah, oh, got it in. Perfect. So, see what it is? This, once it's glued, all of the hairs will come around and be bonded to hold that ponytail right here. Oh, boy. Where is all of that? Okay, there we go. There we go. Pull it all on over. Ooh, without losing place. Okay, girl, let me see your part. I don't even know how long this took. Oh, an hour and 48 minutes, okay. 
Okay, so here it is. So let me do, see. That means I need to squish this over like that. Okay. Now we need to make our part to be about the same circle area. Perfect, just good enough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Woo. I was starting to think I wasn't going to have enough to do the part. Then I ended up thinking, okay, I won't have enough to do the circle. And I did. I did, I did, I did. Now I'm sitting here wondering, am I going to have enough to even, um, to cut this loose? I mean, like, to do her ponytails, you know, to tie the yarn around the hair. So now I'm thinking that, but I think I can. Can she do it? Can she do it? Wait, what are you guys talking about? Oh. Y'all, what is going on, hun? What does she mean by she is Vanessa? Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I'm missing, I'm missing stuff. I've been just ch ch chit chatting and everything else. I'm like, Lord, I'm not, I'm not catching any of it because I'm sitting here trying to make sure I'm getting her head right. Well, you know, d does anyone remember an old video I did? I always got old used leftover dolls from cousins. I always got their old dolls, old leftover ones. And I always thought, oh my God, how can I fix her? How can we make her look better? How can I make her look beautiful again? That was always my thing, so... That's my, that's my deal. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Yay. Five here. Five there. That's even, even. Perfect. Got that done. Done deal. Awesome. I did it. I had enough to do all of it, and I still have enough yarn left to work on her, to do her ponytails, because the yarn, ooh. I don't want to get it mixed up. Oh my gosh. So there's a part. And I don't want to get it all mixed up. So let's get that back right. I definitely did not plan on doing a Cabbage Patch Kid. Okay, okay. There we go. Wait. Oh wait. Something isn't. Is that right? I get her? No, that looks thick. Or straight at the nose. Uh, what is the deal? No, that's that's right. That's right. Oh, she's missing a plug up there. That's what's the deal. I should have stuck another clock, but I wanted to make sure I was going to have enough to do all this hair. There it is. Bam. Awesome. 
awesome. And then when it all goes up into a ponytail, it's going to be an amazing done deal. Okay. So, guess what we have to do now? See inside our head? Yeah, we got to get the glue gun. Got to get the glue gun. Okay, it feels even. The thickness is even on both sides. So, you can see the front all the way through the back. Ta-da! I'm not worried about this. It's all the way down once her head gets on. Um, her ponytails are going to be something like at the very top, about like this, and this, yes, and hang down. So she's going to have cute ponytails. And it's going to cover a lot of the other stuff, so it'll cover up a lot. I'm just thinking, yeah, that's really nice thick hair. Beautiful, beautiful thickness. Gorgeous face. Okay, glue gun. Mm. Mm, let me go ahead and get her body as well. So while the glue is getting hot, I can, here was my rooting tool I was using. I need to put all of these pieces up so I don't lose them. I'm going to need that. I won't need that. I won't need this now. I don't know. I never noticed that until now. I mean, I never paid attention if Cabbage Patch Kids had ears or not. I just always thought they were cute. I just, I really I always thought they were cute. I was reading a line of them that they were like home, home, homely or like gnomes or I was like, no, no, they not. They don't like no gnome. They cute. Okay, let me get my trash. Hold on. I'll be back. I'm back. I gotta get my glue on. And I'm going to bring her body and some stuffing to go with it. Okay. All right, so here's her body. This is what the stuffing that came out during the wash, and it smells amazing. So her body looks really good. Nothing came out. No stitches came loose. All of the stitches are great. I just got to restuff this part. I want it to be nice and fluffy. She has very small little minor holes like there, which to be honest, I can take a dot of crazy glue and hit that. Uh, where was it I thought I needed to stitch? Okay, never mind. I guess I was wrong. I thought of something else. But anyway, her body looks almost new. I mean, like, literally it looks new. No, she has no holes. I was wrong. So the coloring looks amazing, all of that. So I got all my supplies. That's to put her head back on her body. The wooden stick is to rub all of this glue inside her head. <sighs> okay, that is now on. All right, while well, this is on, I'm going to stuff her body. I'm debating if I want to turn her, let me turn her head upside down. Oh God, it smells so much better. And um, 
I think I'm going to use her original stuffing. It's actually tangled up, but it's wider than the stuffing that, um, the other stuff. So I think I want to go with this since it's original and I got it washed very well and cleaned and all that good stuff. So we're going to use stuff her back with her original stuffing. Instead of any extra, because, yeah, nice and full. Because some of them, their bodies turn flat like a pancake. But really, if you just take the head off and wash it in the washing machine, yes, cotton is going to get stuffed all up in your washing machine and stuff like that. But... It's going to make her nice and fluffy the way she was originally. So that makes it worth it, right? I think so. So all of her original cotton stuffing is back in. See? She's nice and full and fluffy the way she's supposed to be. So that she's huggable. Yeah, she just has a few little spots. That's that little dinge, little dinges. But I think I'm just going to hit that up with a little dot of crazy glue. That's it. She's going to be cute for traveling. Yeah, that works for me. See? She's got her original stuffing back in. Her body looks new. Look at the tag. Okay. This was all very dark printed until I washed it. Oh, wait a minute. That's funny. Her tag has 1980 from 1980. 1978 to 1982 her butt is stamped like 1985 but it doesn't matter I mean she looks amazing she's got all her original stuffing so this was a restoration oh god I gotta admit I love these she doesn't smell like baby powder but she smells good oh forgot some but I kind of still want some more stuffing in her. Just a little bit. So her head is not wobbly. So I am going to take some of this and push it around down in these areas to keep her body a nice enforcement. So her body's got, um, it can hold, handle the hair. Even though I'm going to give her a high pony. Two high ponytails, exactly. Oh, God. I mean, for me, I've always loved a nice, thick, fluffy cabbage patch kit. So I'm taking the stick. I'm going down, and I'm pushing cotton where her tushy is. And also making her nice and a little bit fuller. There. Because all of everything has been washed and cleaned, fully stuffed well. There. Okay, she's eaten. She has eaten a little extra. There's nothing wrong with that. She's got a little weight. I like a nice thick cabbage patch kit. I don't want my cabbage patch kits looking like they's hungry. I like it when they're nice and full. So, anyway, this is nice and fluffy stuff. It's cool. And I got her original, all her original stuffing in. And that just keeps her extra special. So, see? She's nice and full. Not flat. All of that good stuff. Ah, that's right. So, next thing's next. We're waiting on a glue gun here. Oh, there it is. It's ready. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start it. Letting it drip down to her bangs.
quite the glue stick I just had to, there it is. Okay, put this in. Okay. At least this takes a lot. I'm going to take my wooden stick. I'm telling you, a good wooden stick is your best friend when it comes to stuffing dolls, rerouting dolls, oh my god, all of those things. Popping out American Girl doll eyes or our generation doll eyes for eye swaps. I'm telling you, a nice, good wooden stick is your best friend. And I've had that one for a very long time. Now I'm making sure I get the hairs over there. Uh, see, once this glue dry, once it's no longer hot, it takes a lot to make it hot. And once it's, um, this is pretty much done, got bonded in with like doll hair or yarn, it'll stay hard. It won't go back soft again. Where is that long piece of yarn coming from? In her head. Let me see. Making sure it's not from her bangs. Her bangs were too much work. No, it's not. They look good. She is so freaking cute. Oh my god, look. Oh, thank goodness I have more than enough hair. Her hair is not going to be in a ponytail that low. Trust me. I'm looking all in here. Okay. I need to come over here. I'm sitting here pushing. I'm seeing all the hair from where I added for her part. Lord have mercy. I want to keep it all separated a little bit here so I can get down in there good. Let's pull some mess glue off of this stick. Well, spoon. This wooden thing. I'm going to turn her head to get the hair all around the sides. Try 
Kind of, oh man, I didn't bring any baby powder. Usually when I'm done, I'll put some cotton in her head with baby powder. And I do that to add more filling into the doll's head. How do I get up in the pan? Okay, now get all up in there. I'm making sure I got glue on all of the edges of the yarn. Now, pack it down. I, I'm packing the yarn down. Pack it down. Now I'm going to go around the edges. Glue is your best friend with this as long as it's done right. Okay, I'm done. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stuff some cotton in her head. Oh, I forgot the thing to seal it. There, see that? Yes, I am. I'm stuffing cotton in her head. There we go. Boom, boom. Oh boy, I think I messed up her part. Okay, I gotta go get the stopper. I forgot the, the topper that fills this in. Oh gosh, let me undo the glue gun. Oof. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and get that real quick. I forgot it somehow. I need something to drink. I feel it worked for any of your dogs. Okay, so this was in her head, and I'm going to put it right back in. Oh, well, I thought it'd be easier than that. There it is. Okay. 
Okay, and we got it in. Awesome. See? There it is. That I put cotton in her head. That way it's not completely hollow. Also, cotton prevents moisture from getting inside your doll's head. Your carriage patch head. Okay? I mean, after all, um, she's over 30 and she still looks like a baby. But when you reboot, after you get done with glue, to prevent moisture from getting trapped inside the head, it's good to put cotton to absorb that. Okay, okay. Usually I put baby powder inside of the doll's body just because they make her smell like a baby. Okay, these you get at the Dollar Tree store. You can use them on American Girl and everything else. They're all made of the same thing. Pretty much. So. Now I'm pushing it all the way around. Oh. You're kidding me. This one's not long enough. Oh my god. Now that's a little concerning. Which means I'm not going to close it in. But I am going to go ahead and try and get her head on. I done messed up her part, but I really don't care right about now. I'm going to try to hold this and get Heifer's head on. Oh, forget it. I'm going to have to push it through some more. Okay, there we go. That's in. Now I'm going to have to push that white thing. Nope, she's got to sit and do it. Okay, because they didn't have the longer ones. Trust me, I would have got a longer one. Oh, God, pull the yarn up. Okay, there. I'm going to definitely have to have a hold on to this. You know what? Here. Fix it with this. There. Now we know it's not going anywhere. Till I get her head on. There. Now the head is on. Completely. Yes. Pulling it up. Now I can release that. I'm sorry, her arm is in the way. Oh shit. This is not going to fit. This is not going to fit. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Can I, is there any way I can put two of these together to make one? I wonder, I should. Didn't expect this. Hmm. Okay, there. That's like that, and it can grow in like that. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'll cut this all the way down like that. Okay, it's stuck. Okay. Take our head back off. And push that in. Might try to cut up more. There we go. And put, try to push it all the way over here to the side so it won't be as noticeable. There we go. Pull 
for a moment, I almost got a little nervous, but I didn't. Okay. I like her skin color. Push her between my legs. I wish that was it. I wish that was her skin color. Okay, that's going to work. Pull the hair up and the bangs. Where all the little hairs are all the way around. The electricity went out last night all because of the wind. I was freaking out. You can't do that to some of my conditions. Okay, did I get all of that in? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Cut it in the right spot. Oof. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Her head is on, no problem. Yay. Oh, God. I was about to say life is a mystery. When this all stands alone. Oh, God. Now, I'm going to leave a little bit out. Because I'm going to fold it to go inside. To seal this in. Y'all know they still sell fabric to make um, dolls similar to this, soft sculpture dolls. There. The fabric is in. I don't understand why they, they didn't do a reproduction Teddy Ruxpin doll. Okay, now we can pull all the baby hairs down right. Okay, now let's get her part done. Let's get the part done. Oh good, everything is falling over the way it should. I'm not having any problems. Okay. Now her ponytails. I was looking that stuff up on the internet googling. I was Googling Teddy Ruxpin. Now, when um, Bradley had the Swell Doll Shop in um, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Oh, my God. See, we could go there. It was, like, always constantly changing um, inventory. And I remember he had gotten all of this new stuff in. And I went looking through it. He was like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Go through it. I found a cricket doll. Well, it, uh, I had to look her up. I didn't know who she was, but I thought she was really, really pretty. So I had to look her up. And I was like, oh, my God. After I Googled her and I was there with her because she was in her original clothes and everything. Um, she worked by batteries in a cassette player. And... I was like, oh my God, I love her. I want her. So he was like, you can have her. I probably won't make any money for her, from her. So he let me have her. Free. I was so happy. I mean, I, I've been blessed. I've really been blessed with a lot of dolls that I love and that I like. You know, I feel like if you've been blessed with something that you love, this one thing, but to be blessed with something that you like... That's just extra. That's just the extra. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to about right there. So you can see me when I get ready now. I'm going to focus on her ponytail. And making sure I get all the right hairs in the right places. It looks thick, but it's not as thick as it looks, to be honest. I mean, it's thicker than what it was, yeah, but then you got to make sure you got all of this stuff going down. 
the right way. I'm doing two sort of high ponytails. And I did not get my um yarn ready to do this. <laughs> Why am I always not always completely repaired most of the time? Well, I think they should make a reproduction of Teddy Ruxpin. You know, um, I googled that. That thing was hot. That was a very hot item, apparently, in the 80s. Um, Teddy Ruxpin, Cabbage Patch Kids, um, uh, and then Cricket. I mean, these were very, very popular, popular, super popular items. We don't have toys like that anymore. We do, they do not make iconic toys anymore. Okay, they did Bratz. Uh, okay, I have to say, I do believe that um, Rainbow High is going to be iconic. I will say that. Okay, yarn. Gonna have to tie it. I have to add a certain amount of thickness to it as well. But, I mean, those toys were so popular. I mean, people were after them. Like, after them. They were stalking them. What really shocks me is they do Barbie reproductions, right? Reproductions of older Barbies. What shocks me is how they can't recreate what they used to do. They cannot recreate um, an older Barbie. I mean, they can't reproduce. They can't make an accurate reproduction to look exactly like the original. And I think to myself, why? How come they can't do that? They should be able to do it, make a perfect reproduction, and make it even better. Oh, Little Miss Makeup. Oh, my God. Them things were out when I was a kid. I got one. I still got mine. Oh, God. She was, she's like, she was out forever. And the thing what got me was people complain about stuff, but yet this was a little girl doll who had color change makeup. Mine had hot cold water changing or something. I still got her. Now I got the Totally Hair Barbie reproduction, but I also have the originals because at Bradley's shop, he had the dollar bin and inside the dollar bin, there was about three or four totally hair Barbies in it. The only thing is their hair was matted up. Not too bad. The doll still looked brand freaking new. Okay, I'm done with this. I can cut that there. And so that's how I got them. They still had their original jewelry and everything. Oh my God, that looks really good. So see? Yes, I'm going to cut the hair, but I'm going to cut it to about, I'm going to cut it to right here. I'm going to cut it to there. So, I don't want it to be super long. Little Miss Mermaid. Okay, I did buy the Little Miss Mermaid off of eBay. Yep, I have two. I got, I found one at a thrift shop. And the other one I got off eBay. So, I do have her. And one I repainted, so I repainted one of them. That doll, I wonder, see, they don't make good stuff anymore. And now, these moms are so freaking weird. They just get pissy over everything. I'm like, what is up with you, chick? We got so many Karens. And then we got so many young people who act like, stupid nowadays. Oh my God, it's ridiculous.
I'm trying to think where did I find that mer. I don't even remember what mermaid store. I mean, what mermaid store? What thrift store I found her in? I found her. God, and I got her. She was only ninety nine cents. I had bought one off eBay and then turned around and found one at a good, a, a second hand store that looks so much better. But I don't go to second hand stores that often. Because I can't, I don't even know which one that was. My battery is probably going to die. Okay. What is Amber saying? I can't see it. A mermaid store. Actually, there is a mermaid store. It was in North Carolina. Um, it was at the beach. Um, then she had to relocate because of all the damage that kept happening from um, hurricanes. Because North Carolina is known for hurricanes season near the beach. But yeah, it's on the internet now. You have to Google it. North Carolina Mermaid Store. She's on Wilmington. Somewhere near Wilmington. Okay, pull this up. I don't understand why they don't bring Little Miss makeup back. Yeah. Oh, never mind. They might give her crappy hair. But then, again, wait. I got one with good hair, but I know my cousin had one, and he had some kind of canacalon hair stuff, and it was just ill. Okay, so this color hair works really super well with her. Oh my gosh. I couldn't make it tight enough to tie it up there. I mean, the last time I found something really good, I, I went to the, um, the second hand store where I actually do donations and I found a rock of Barbie with super thick hair. That was amazing. She, I was like, oh my gosh, for a dollar. She was naked for a dollar. They had a loving you Barbie, but she didn't look good at all. I mean, she did not look good. She, she looked, she was not a good one. She was bad. And you can get Little Miss Makeup Dolls on eBay. They have her all over eBay. Girl, for $100? Oh what? Wait, what? Why is shrimp pajamas up there? I don't know about no pajamas. Uh, I don't remember. My mama got me mine. Oh, my God. It was, I think, Christmas or something. I don't even remember. Oh, my God. She is so freaking cute. Okay. She has one ponytail higher up than the other one. That feels thick. Okay, yeah, they have the right amount of thickness. See? Okay, the light is shining downward, but otherwise there she is. Yay! She looks pretty. Okay, I have to redo that. That didn't come out right, so I had to redo that part of her ponytail on this side because it definitely didn't come out right. At least I got enough yarn to 
we do that. Okay, I'm cutting the yarn where I made her ponytail. Because I didn't do it right. I'll have to make her lay down straight. So it has to go higher up. The, the electric went off here last night. Oh my god, I was freaking out. Because of the wind. Okay, here we go. Pull it all nice. I have to keep running my fingers through it to make sure I have no little pieces that are intertwined or anything. Okay. I'm not, I've never worked with this particular yarn on one of these. That did it. Yeah, perfect. That's in the same space. Good. Oh, yeah, that worked out great. But, yeah, normally I would take these and have um, baby powder. I would stuff the head and the body with baby powder. Ugh, double knotted it. One more time. can't believe she won't be six dollars. Like I said though, she was a gift, so I was blessed. There. All she needs her bows. Oh, I gotta cut the hair. This is way too long. Because if I was like, oh, I want to take her with me, her hair would be too long. I feel like one side's thicker than the other though, but it's not. If it is, it's this side a little bit, but to be, yeah, this side feels a little thicker. Probably from the part around the front part of the bangs, I'm guessing. But either way, see the part? She's got a little baby hair down here. Oh, that's got restored. Her parts are done. I created that. I mean, she looks brand new. Okay, so. When you come to cutting these, you got to do it at an angle, cutting the hair to make it more even. I don't like all these weird colors in the hair they do for some reason. I'm sorry, that's just me. Each to their own is how I see it. Oh yeah, I like this length. See, she still got long hair, but I like it better that length, like this. See how I did it? The way I cut it, it comes out in little layers. See? Yay! You can tell I've been doing this for quite some time with Cabbage Patch Kids. Usually bigger ones, not these little boogers. Well, these are the originals. Not like the original soft sculptures, but the ones that went way over the... I went, people went Lulu Cuckoo for, like literally they went crazy for. And I heard they used to go crazy for the Holiday Barbies. It was um, Cabbage Patch Kids, the Holiday Barbies. 
I don't know what else. I have to Google it and then watch videos on YouTube so I can look at all the crazy folks and be like, Lord have mercy. Then you have to help you cut it even. Okay. I really think this hair color when um it goes really great with her skin tone. It looks amazing. If I was to take her back to the that little thrift shop I got her from. Them two, them two ladies would have a fit. Let's see what I did with her. Okay, that's one size a little bit too long. But if I actually took, made the ponytail, which is not too bad. I mean, in the original Cabbage Patch Kids, they cut their ponytails crooked anyhow. This one side does feel thicker than this side. Yes, it does. Well, that's how they made them anyhow. They did them like that from the beginning. So. Um, okay, fine. I need to cut just a little hint more. That or either I need to raise a ponytail. Which one is it? No, I don't need to raise a ponytail, but she does need a bow. Hmm. Okay, I need to cut just a little smidget. Just a little smidget more. You have to keep running your fingers too because this is yarn and you need it all to be the same length. Very little, not a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, see if that did it. Yeah, make her jump around a little bit. Okay, that did it. See, now it's even. Ta da! Oh, it's so pretty and fluffy. Oh my gosh. I like how I cut it. See, I can tell one side's a little thicker. Must have been from the hairline. It was definitely from the hairline. But it doesn't matter. See? See how her hair is? Nice layered ponytails. Yes, I'm leaving it this long. Because it's so pretty. Now I'm going to give her bows. I'm going to take the original bow ribbon. Here it is. It's one, but I'm actually going to cut it in half. Let me think. Can I do that to make it work? Of course I can. There. it very tightly oh it works that works I mean I don't care it's good enough for me I'm sitting here thinking what do I have to do little other little bows nothing oh my gosh I wish I could show the little ladies at the store well they saw my YouTube I don't know if she wrote it down or not, but hopefully she'll get to see what I did to this pretty little Cabbage Patch kit that I got from them for only $6. And I turned around, gave her a bath, and gave her new hair, and just absolutely made her look brand new all over again to something that makes her brand new for me. There. Now she's got her little bows. Oh. 
Oh, I can move the light now. Okay. So I'm oh, not like that. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to reset some lighting. And uh, a couple things fell. So, there's how she looks. Um, now I'm going to put her clothes back on her since she's dry and everything else is. So, this is her hair now. We fixed her. We made her two ponytails. All the little bangs. Yay! Beautiful, beautiful hair. I love her skin color. I love her thick bangs. Beautiful, thick bangs. So I can show you all the details. Love her skin color. Um, when I got her, her hair was definitely not even. It was very uneven. But, I mean, when I saw her, I had a fit. I wanted her because I wanted to make her over. I wanted to um, restore her. And here she is, restored. Now, I'm going to put her clothes back on her. She did not come with a pamper, and she did not come with shoes, which is fine. I was okay with that. Got a little under that. Let me fix her tag where it goes inside her, her little panties. There. And they're nice and tight. Here's her original. These are her original clothes. I like the fact she came with her original clothes. I would like to make her something else and put this up, but I'm okay with her in this. To me, she looks awesome. So, she has... She smells so good. Oh my gosh, she smells just awesome. The clothes, too. So, she got very well cleaned. Um, and so did her clothes. Everything got cleaned. And fabric softener and everything. So I made her as close and new as possible. This was a restoration, so it wasn't about me trying to customize her. Um, uh, when it came for me to do something that was more authentic, I have to say it was the hair. Because I can't find that. I mean, they don't make, this doll is 37 years old. So they don't make those same color of yarn that they used to make a long time ago. They don't they don't make that colors anymore. So my instinct told me to go with something lighter because of her skin tone. With her skin being this color, like a tannish, I knew that the lighter color would work. And it did. It worked very well. So she looks beautiful. Oh my god, I am so proud of myself, let me tell you. But yes, it feels like once it might be a little thicker, but I really don't care. Now I'm going to do her hair. Um, I want to keep it loose, but at the same time, I don't want to get any messed up. Oh, she is just so cute. I don't want to do braids because it make it go flat. So I'm actually going to give her these twists like this. Oh my god, that looks good. I'm looking for a piece of yarn over here long enough that where I cut her hair long enough to tie around. Okay. 
Okay, I think this will work. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Let me try this. Okay, let me redo her twist. Oh my god, let me think. Where's my black cabbage patch kit I found? I found a bald one, and I also found a black one in her original clothes. I had washed them at my mom's. They might still be at my mom's. I might not have got it because of the threats and everything that I have received, I don't think I had got a chance to restore them. So I am looking forward to doing that. Oh yeah, this is long enough. When I get through with this video, I'm going to bed. There. Oh my god. See? Ta-da. So, so, see how her twists are? Alright, that, yeah, that works. Now I'm going to do the others this side the same way. So I like the way the twists look. I could braid it, but I don't think I, I want to keep that kind of a hairstyle. Because I like this yarn loose. It's very silky and shiny. And it's really good, good stuff. Oh my gosh, look, she just stepped out of a, uh, like, stepped out of a time machine. She just don't have her shoes. Oh. See? So, there. She looks new. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the Gem and the Hologram, so... I had the Integrity Toys ones. I did get some of the original ones at doll shows and flea markets. But anyway, here is my little patootie. She just needs her some little boots, some little socks. Uh, which I can find some of those anywhere. Like little baby clothes or whatever. Yeah. There she is, looking brand new. And here's her hair from behind. Yeah, so we can put her hair behind. So I like the, I love the length. I love the thickness. I love the way I went for two pigtails. I'm so glad I did. Um, I love. I also love, look how beautiful, I mean, the skin looks, the doll's body look still looks great. It's still great condition. Now she looks even better. She's been completely cleaned, restored, all of that good stuff. Yay! Well, everyone, we're going to call it a night. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed me doing a restoration on this Cabbage Patch Kit, because basically, 
that's what I did. I just restored her, but in the process, I did add a new part across in the mitt to give her two pigtails when she originally had one. And I did change the hair color and made it more lighter because it gives her a more new look. So, but I still call it more of a restoration. So, yeah. we. Oh my God, I love her matte look. That was some work. That was pretty. She looks amazing. I'm showing you all angles. So you can see all of her beautiful bangs. See how good that part is? Rooted and everything. No, she doesn't have a name yet. I haven't given her one. But I have to wait and let it come to me. So, um, see the lighting? Where you can see where everything is parted and done. But yeah, I love her. Cool. Oh my god, okay, I'm sore from sitting here so long, but this yarn is very light and fluffy and absolutely amazing. And I let this face mold. See, she doesn't have any marks on her face. Like, really, there are no marks on her face. She was dirty. Yes, I cleaned her in the sink. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. I'm freaking out. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay. Oof. Ah. Don't ever set this long. Like, seriously, don't set this long. It's painful. I sat here like this for two hours and I'm having to go all the way to the front to the um, trash can to put that yarn and I didn't even finish which reminds me yes I got my personal there tomorrow for the clinic oh look at little miss patooka poo it's Raphael's doll uh, try and look at some of these comments in a minute. Oh, while well, I'm in pain. If I don't do that soda. Uh, I might as well grab water. Did I, don't I have some? Oh, I do, it's over there. Okay, here Dixie, let's look at some of the comments, girl. Yeah, poopsie. The Flintstone vitamins. They still make those. <laughs> she fluffy like cotton candy. She is. She is. She's got all her original stuffing and everything. I just add a little more, but she came out great. Oh. Thank you. I cannot pronounce that. Middle low. I'm, I have fibromyalgia. I'm just in pain. Oh my god, now I want to know a cabbage patch doll. Girl, oh, Etsy. Go to Etsy. It's the best price. I've seen the older ones from the 80s. That's the best deal is Etsy. Oh, thank you, Crystal, for the comments. Dixie, are you seriously licking the bottom of my feet? What in the world? She's licking the bottom of my feet. She's crazy. Thank you, Elaine. I don't have... Uh, I got Integrity Toys, the newer Gemini Holograms. I did buy the um, DVD series. A while back. And my G.I. Joes that I have, I love those. Those are six inches. The new six inch. Oh my God, look at all that. I love the positive. I love the positive comments. It's so heartwarming, heartfelt. I just love it. Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Oh, 
I like I. Okay, I. Thank you so much for your kind comments and words. They're very sweet. You did see her. I showed you. Her face was dirty. She looked like she did a. I, I. There was so much soap in the um washing machine. I put her on a medium. I put her on a medium load and put a cup of um foca powders on her. I'm telling y'all. Oh my gosh. I did, it was so much soap, so she got thoroughly clean. She got cleaned so well that it literally lightened her skin color. I mean, her tag. It took the black words off her tag. Oh, I, I, need, I need more blanket than this. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Oh, let me turn my camera around. Here she is. Now you get a good look. Oh, There are some pre-orders for Vietnamese VIE dolls. Yep, you should check it out on the Facebook page. There she is, see? Oh, let me cut off this light. I don't need that now. There. Oof. She looks brand new. She looks like a reproduction now. <coughs> See? There she is. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute sitting like that. Oh, these are my glasses. So there she is. Oh, pretty. I mean, she looks brand new. Look at the hands. Look at the arms. Look at the feet. The, the coloring. The face. Oh my God. And I think this hair turned out to be the perfect color for her. So she's done. Well, everyone, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for the compliments. It's very kind of you. Um, I hope that this this video tutorial can help someone else fix their own Cabbage Patch Kids. Because I've been live for three hours. Oh my gosh. So I hope you see how much work it takes into rebooting a Cabbage Patch Kid. Oh, thank you, Amber. Well, it was important. I saw her and absolutely loved her at first sight. I I was in Florida. I was just like, oh my God, I have to have her. I had to have her. So, um, I enjoyed restoring her to make her look brand new again. That was the fun part. But, yeah, this is what I mean. This is a reroute. It took three hours. That's not, and that was just rerouting. That wasn't removing all of the other hair. So, yeah. Thank you, Richard. So, yes, everyone. She's got beautiful, beautiful, thick extra hair. Um, she's nice and clean and looks brand new. That's what happens when you get in my bath. By the way, I recommend at your local Walmart getting um, the it's washing powders that comes in a plastic bag called Foca. F-O-C-A, or you can get the, um, God, what is the other one? It's scented with some downy or something. It's powder. It's in a bag. It cleans. It makes all of your stuff come out new. Look how new looking her skin, because that was kind of dirty at the ends of her, fin her fingers. All of that came out so clean, so it made her, like, look brand new so I recommend that and it didn't damage her it just really made her look brand new again so she's comfort to me she's a comfort baby to me yep anyway good night everyone I wish you all the best thank you for joining bye